Towards the bottom of my screen, I can see a little tab that says page one. My new diagram or drawing only has one page at the moment. If I wanted it to contain multiple pages, one way to insert a page is to hit this wee button to the right of page one, called Insert Page. If I click this button, I've inserted a page two. If I wish to rename page two, all I need to do here is double click its current name and I can give it a name like example and press enter. So you can easily insert as many pages as you require and you can double click and name them. You can also rearrange them. For example, I might decide to put example in front of page one. So I'll drag it and when I let go, example is now in front of page one. You can easily insert pages, name pages and rearrange pages. You can also delete pages if they contain old information or they're just no longer required. If I click on page one and I right click page one, I could delete page one. Notice also that I can insert a page this way, rename a page this way and reorder my pages this way just by right clicking on the name of a sheet or a page. I'm going to delete page one. The page setup can be set up either by right clicking the name of the page and going into page setup or if I cancel that I can go to the design tab. When I go to the design tab I have a page setup group. For example I can use the orientation button to change my page to portrait or I can hit the orientation button again and change it back to landscape. I can use the size button to change my paper size from A4 to any other size that I would prefer but I'll leave it on A4. I can also go into the Page Setup dialog box launcher. If I go into the Page Setup dialog box launcher, I can change my paper size in here, change my landscape and portrait in here, and even change my zoom in here. And I can choose whether I want to print grid lines or not. But I'll just go Cancel. So we've got one page, it's called Example, it's in Landscape, and it's A4.